use the formula okay so let's use that formula h multiplied by a plus b uh, divided by 2 so that would be the area of a trapezium that's the formula so just to be clear uh, a and b are sides and h is a dimension of height um, a and b have special properties a and b those two sides must be parallel Okay, that's how you can identify sides A and B, because they are parallel. So let's have a look and see if we can substitute anything into our uh, formula. So area equals, let's try and identify A and B first. So this side and this side, they are not parallel. So for sure they are not A and B. This side and this side are parallel. So they are A and B. So let's go with 4.7 plus 7.6 and the height which is the other part uh, must be at right angles to a and b and that one is so we know that it's 9.1 and divided by 2 so that is a lot of intimidating looking numbers but it's actually quite easy so let's go with the first step which is to add up uh, our A and B. So 4.7 plus 7.6 gives us 12.3. So in our next line of working, it should look like this. 12.3. Uh, it's going to have to be multiplied by 9.1 and then divided by 2. So again, just step by step. There's no need to rush. And then we have 12.3 and we multiply 12.3 by 9.1. Point one, and that is 111.93 and that gets divided by 2 so let's divide it by 2 divided by 2 equals and let's just write out the full value there no need to round 55 point let's just have a look at it again 965 so 965 what's the unit of measurement we're talking meters it's area so it's got to be squared and that's how you do it